the four-time Madrid finalist, is back in action and looking for title number three. Standing in her way is the newly crowned world number two and pretty much the entire city of Madrid. Paula started off slowly in her opening match. She even faced a couple of break points in her early service games against the dangerous Russian Kudamentova. Paula was able to right the ship and crank things up halfway through that first set, but Dosa went on to win the second set with ease. In fact, Paula did not lose a service point in the second set. Simona was also able to move through in straights. Her game looked solid and she was showing no ill effects of that leg injury that has kept her out of action since Indian Wells. This will be the first head-to-head -head matchup between these two, so no match history to speak of. Let's dive right in and see who's going to have the surface edge. Obviously, the former champ Halep comes into the tournament very comfortable on clay. For her career, she's 75%, while Paula comes into the match at 65% for her career. Specifically, looking into Bedosa's breakout campaign last season in 2021, we can see Paula's percentage jumps up to 85%. Now taking a look at the momentum of these two combatants coming into this blockbuster second round matchup. Halep comes into Madrid being off injured since Indian Wells. She's been nursing a leg injury, but on the bright side of things, a couple weeks off mid-season is not the worst thing in the world for a veteran player. I expect the rest to help recharge her batteries coming into the grueling clay court season. Paula comes into Madrid after losing the semi-final last week. Prior to that, she made the quarters in Charleston. Bedosa had to pull out of Miami due to illness, but judging by her performance the past couple of weeks and her first round match here, those problems look to be in the rearview mirror. Now is time for the match pick. I'm anxious to see if there are any tactical changes to the Halep game after hiring on Patrick Maratoglu as her new coach. I believe it's been in the work for a couple of months now after Simona spent some time at the academy back in March, so this doesn't come as a complete surprise. Bedosa looked dominant today against the in-form Kudamentova. I'm expecting a highly entertaining match that could go either way. Paula is going to have the crowd behind her, and I expect it to be a couple of weeks before Halep starts playing her best tennis after being off injured and while adjusting to a new coach. The pick is Bedosa in three. Let me know your thoughts, and I will talk to you in the next video.